Hi guys, I'm back. And in honor of it being Halloween next week, I thought I would do a simple flip cup in some Halloween colors. But first I wanna show you um, some little tiles I was working on. It's a set of four, so you, know, you can use them as coasters. Or you could put them in those cute little, um, the cute little wooden easel stands and just, you know, put one on the corner of your desk or something. This one's my favorite, but it's probably because of the, the turquoise colors. You guys know, like, turquoise is my favorite color. But what I wanted to show you is, <laughs> these were supposed to be something completely different. And there's just sort of a lesson here that, you know, if something's not working out for you, you can wipe it off or, you know, keep playing with it and maybe you'll come up with something really cool that you didn't expect in the first place. Now are these really cool? I'm not real real totally excited about them because the, for some reason the alcohol ink kind of came through that that silver mixative. I'm not really sure why. Um, but still the idea is kind of neat. I kind of like the idea. Um, definitely worth playing with in the future but I covered them in resin so they're nice and shiny. You can kind of see how beautiful that crystal clear shine is. You can see all the... Um, so I'll, what I'll do is probably put you know felt on the back and wrap them up as a coaster set. Okay, onward with our Halloween pour. I have got four colors plus black today and it's kind of in honor of a painting I did last year that <laughs> um, obviously you can see it's no longer on the wood frame. I really liked this one for some reason. If you fold that under, that that, that was the edge. Um, but I set it outside after I put a finish on it. And as you can see there, my dog, who was fairly new to us at the time, she was still a puppy, she decided that it tasted really good, so she ate the corner of it. <laughs> So I pulled it off of the canvas and I was going to wrap it on, I mean, off of the frame and I was going to wrap it on a smaller one, but what happens is, is you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the paint cracks all the way through the canvas. So it's kind of hard to wrap this once it's already got the finish on it, kind of hard to wrap it around something else. So I'm thinking about, you know, maybe just cutting out a few, like I like this spot right here, maybe just cutting out a few pieces and I really don't know what to do with them. I guess maybe we could cut out some squares and glue them to like some wooden coasters and make coasters out of them. Maybe. I don't know. But I really liked the colors. I wanted to do that again and Halloween is the perfect time to bring out those colors that I don't normally work with. So we're just going to do a real simple flip cup today. I'm going to stir in my silicone real quick. Um, let me tell you what colors we've got. We've got the black. All the colors are the apple barrel today. thought we'd just go simple today. Um, this is the Apple Barrel Jack-O-Lantern. How appropriate. We've got the Apple Barrel Jet Black. The Apple Barrel Bright Yellow. Apple Barrel Bright Red. It's actually a little bright, brighter than I wanted it. I didn't realize how bright it was until I got home and opened it up again. And then the Purple Pansy from Apple Barrel. So those are the colors we're going to use. I'm just going to start in silicone and really haven't decided how much of each color I want in there. I really don't want red to take over. I don't want, I definitely don't want the purple to take over, but I really don't want the orange to take over either. <laughs> so I think we'll start with probably the orange. There's not going to be any white in this painting. And then I think we'll go with some black. some red and hopefully all these colors won't mix with the purple and make a really ugly color. I hope not. I'm, I've, I left them thick enough I hope so that you can already see all the silicone floating at the top there. It really does not want to mix in. Especially that purple for some reason. 
So I'm just kind of remixing them as I go. So hopefully. I know, I'm kind of quiet. I'm sorry. And um, to those of you who watch me religiously, um, I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. A lot of things going on. Um, and for literally the past several weeks now, me and my two babies have been sick. My Ella Bella was sick and out of school. All week this week, she finally went back yesterday, but she's been sick since basically Friday. So, um, yeah, most of my time has been spent taking care of her, but she's much better now. Um, she is feeling much better. She's back in school. But, uh, yeah, my husband has been out of town. This is the second time he's had to go, to go out of town. He was out of town for about a week last week, and then... Now he's out of town again because he is going down to help out with the hurricane aftermath. Um, yeah, apparently this is the worst hurricane to hit uh, Florida and Georgia since the history of recording hurricanes. Um, it was a really, by the time it got to Georgia, it was actually still a hurricane three, level three. So it was really, really bad. And the damage down there is just, the agricultural damage down there is really sad for all the farmers down there and everybody that depends on that sort of life. Um, a lot of their stuff was completely destroyed. So everybody just, you know, think good thoughts for all those people down in South Georgia and in Florida whose homes were damaged and businesses and livelihoods. Where did my orange go? <laughs> There's a little bit of purple there. Like the orange disappeared. But it's coming up. You can see a little bit of it through there. Some pretty cells are coming through. And see the orange right there kind of mixed with the black. So it's kind of dusty looking. I'm going to go ahead and torch this. I like to torch it uh, before I tilt it because then my cells are bigger. Okay, I don't want to tilt torch it any more than that. We get this lovely line of orange cells lined with uh, red, and then these <laughs> these purple. And yellow ones are really pretty through here. They're little, but they're still really pretty. Okay, I think we're going to get a corner catcher for this baby because uh, I don't want to lose a lot of that center. I'm sorry if you're listening to my dog, Thor, barking like crazy. The kids next door are always outside. They're playing football in the yard. And they've discovered if they get really close to the fence... They don't actually have to do anything. He will bark like crazy at them, and they think it's funny. So, <laughs> But they're not actually doing anything to the dog, so I can't really say much of anything. So I'm trying just to... Oh, I don't even know where to go with this. I kind of want to pour that off and pour this off. Look at these. They're really pretty. I think we're going to go for this corner first. As slowly as possible, because I really don't want to disturb those cells, because they're really pretty. Just lovely. Really slow. I know it's like, oh, it's so hard not to tilt it really fast, but trust me, for those of you who are new to this, it is worth it. Because if you tilt it really fast, you stretch out your cells big time. And you kind of want to bring it back towards the middle before you kind of go in a different direction. And it helps your cells to stay happy. Okay, we're going to go for this. Oh, I don't even want, I don't want to touch that side right there, but I think I need a smaller corner catcher for this particular size canvas. And by the way, this particular size canvas is a 8 inch by 8 inch, which I really love. 
the smaller your canvas, a lot of times, the better results you are lucky enough to get. Um, and I hate to say that because, you know, a lot of times you can get beautiful results on the great big canvases as well, obviously. But if you're just starting out, try these 8x8 canvases. Or if you can find the 6x6s, even better. But the 8x8 is just the perfect size for me. I love it. Um, look at the beautiful bright colors. And this I'm not going to torch at all once I get done. I'll tor like lightly over it. I might even just kind of blow over it because I don't want any more cells. I really don't want little bitty cells, which are going to come up anyway. Um, but I really don't want a lot of little cells because it, it, it'll disturb my makeup of those big cells. I mean, you can see just by stretching it out, I'm getting more cell action as we speak. And now we've got one more corner to go. I'm trying to decide whether to use the corner catcher or just kind of let it all pour off. I don't want it to go off this way and that way, but that's what's going to happen. We're just going to go slowly, slowly, slowly. And you do want to get it, obviously you want to get enough paint off to where it's not going to, um, you know, crack when it dries, so. Oh, missed that corner. There we go. We're going to bring it back a little bit, and that is going to be it for that baby. And as I sit here and talk, um, you know, it's going to get a little more cells to it, so. But I really, really don't want any more little cells. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty one. I love my little Halloween pour. Okay. Oh, I don't even want to torch it. I might just kind of blow on the, the bubbles and see if we can get the bubbles out without causing more cell action. Because just the heat from your breath can pop the pop the bubbles, but if I take the torch to it, whatever silicone is still lingering underneath. Well, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to. There's so many bubbles under there. Okay, I'll leave it like that, and I will get y'all down so you can see close up. Okay, you can see. Especially up here in this corner, those little cells. Look, I have a zombie for Halloween there. And Nora said there's a ghost in here somewhere and Bigfoot, but I, <laughs> I don't see Bigfoot. But um, as you can see, lots of little cells up there in that corner um, that just kind of popped up on their own. And look at those beautiful red lines around the cells there. And you get to just, just pretty. I hope this will dry nice and flat with no cracks in it. Um, I'm going to leave the ceiling fan off because a lot of times if I turn the ceiling fan on it dries too fast and it, I have had some cracks. So, But I think it looks pretty cool. I really love those red lines around the cells. And there's just a few of those little ones to sort of offset the giant cells. But I think all in all, this is a pretty cool little Halloween pour. I am super happy with this one. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it dries nice and flat. Okay, let's put you back up. Okay, so there is an overall view of it. I think it turned out really cool. I hope you guys liked your little uh, Halloween pour. Um, and I am at the moment working on my website. So I will give you guys um, the website. It's somewhere down in my info, but um, I'll give it to you again. Check out my website. Um, and, you know, 
if there's not if if there's anything recent that's not on the website um, and you want to buy it just send me a quick email and I will be glad to you know get with you on it and <coughs> thank you Thor <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got a lot of painting sitting around here. I have not been able to do any shows because, frankly, you know, the, the, the little craft shows around town that are little are still expensive, and I just cannot afford to do the craft shows. So I have a lot of my painting sitting around waiting for somebody to buy them. I've ha I've sold a few pieces, and uh, to those of you who have who have bought my pieces, I, I love you. I appreciate you more than you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, if y'all will just go look at my website, it is www.southerndutchgirlart.com and check it out. I just finished a lot of pendants, so I'm going to be, I'll show you those, you know, in a newer, in a, you know, another video, but, um, I'll kind of show you just a couple of them real quick. Those are some of my pendants. Um, so, you know, like I said, there'll be a lot of them. I've probably got about 30 of them here now that I want to put on my website. And I'll, hopefully I'll be taking pictures of those very soon and getting them up on, up on the website. But I'll um, give you sort of an overview video soon. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I needed to <laughs> mention. I don't know. Uh, next video. Okay, so... There is your pretty for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really love this one. Everybody keep your fingers crossed so that it dries without cracking. Um, and uh, I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. To all my new subscribers that have traveled over from uh, other channels, um, Anne Marie's channel, I know a lot of you came over and, and checked me out. So I'm, I'm really excited to have a lot of new subscribers. Thank y'all for giving me a chance. Anybody has any ideas for future paintings, please let me know. And as you, um, you know, the new subscribers, as you guys know, if you look over my channel, I do a lot of different kinds of things. You know, sometimes I'll do alcohol ink with some resin or um, whatnot. Um, I've done a few watercolor pieces, you know, a couple of geodes. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas or definitely any questions, please ask. Uh, and I'm going to try and do like sort of a, a review video soon of, you know, what my method is, how I mix my paints and pour. But um, as you can see, you're, you're, we're still getting a little more cell action popping up. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what it's going to look like when it's all done. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, see you later. Bye.